wiggle wiggle like and welcome to she's the animal you're from eh. exactly <laughs> <laughs> good stuff and thanks for joining no problem my pleasure trying to learn us to uh, tank better how to play better how to, be how better. to grind credits and what are you going to show us today how to grind credits and yes. how to carry being uh, the bottom tier in what tank in the m41 grand finals yes my personal best tier 8 premium tank to grind credits in because of the matchmaking it's fast it's nimble and you don't really need a lot of gold ammo to shoot which means you're going to save a lot and if, you ha and if you're in a clan, you can always put a credit bonus, some credit boosters, and it's very easy to get credits in this tank. Exactly. And why do you choose to go where you go in the beginning here? I don't know, it would be better if I went my, with my team where the T49 is, if you see on the minimap. Yeah. But I'm really used to going here. It was a big mistake because I was spot already. <laughs> so There's you a go there because you're used to, yeah? Yeah, I'm okay. used to going here. <clears throat> but there's a scout probably in D6, D7, somewhere in the bush. Yes. And I was being too stubborn. I took one shell for nothing. I should have avoided maybe go left or something. As you can see, somebody missed me, which means I'm still spotted. So that's why I went, went back, chilled out, and let's see if every, anything goes on the left. And you go to top of bush. Yeah, I like bushes, you know. <clears throat> you have to park it yeah. in the bushes. Yeah. There's this IS-3. There's no chance I could bend that, but hey, you have to try it, you know? Yeah, of course. But now here's a here's a really soft target, the Panther 2. That was an impossible shot, but still, the Panther 2 is very easily bent with this gun. And but there's this 430, which can be a real pain in the ass because he's first he's a tier 10, and he has a really good armor. And I'm trying not to shoot as many premium shells as possible because I'm grinding credits to buy a new tier 10. But yeah. Yeah, I was wondering why because it has a really good pad. Yeah, <clears throat> and the AP on this tank is really slow. That's one of the downsides. But here I took advantage of these two tier 10 tanks. Yeah. There's only three tier 10 tanks, and here's the E5 and the 440. The 440 is doing a major mistake, just yellowing in there. He got one shell from me, and uh, well, he just got wrecked by the 40B. Yeah, he just went. He totally overextended. Yeah, now I'm not gonna focus on this E5 because. I can't really pen him, not even with heat or anything, so I'm just gonna look for an opportunity, which I just saw with the T50 for lightweight. Yeah. I decided to go back and I can probably put in a few shots into him without getting spotted because there's uh, there's trees in front of me and a bush. So if I get him in my sights uh, and if I shoot, I will probably not gonna get spotted. And I made a very bad miss because, <laughs> uh, because reasons, you know. Yeah, and please. here we go. You see, I'm not spotted because there's a tree in front of me, <clears throat> and I'm spotted because of this guy. I wasn't spotted because of the 54. It was this Fa fairly bad there. position to be spotted. Then. Yeah, this is a very bad spot for me. I did, I didn't do this as elegant as I wanted to. And this E5 is just—he's keeping me locked down, which is good. But at the same time, he's all alone up there. Yeah. And I see he's making the biggest mistake right now. This is this is where I knew I have to go in. And I have to go in hard, and that's why I loaded heat because this E5 is. Uh, I didn't want to take any chance. I want to destroy the tier tens as soon as possible if I'm bottom tier. So that's why I loaded heat, and there's three of us versus one guy, so we can probably farm him down very easily. And I'm much faster than him, and like I said, he did a major mistake going down. And as soon as I saw he's going down, I knew it. He's dead. I he really can't... like you're not putting greedy, but you can't. Uh... Thing out of no, harm's way. I, I don't want to get shot. I got shot <clears throat> no, exactly. twice already for nothing. So, and this guy can shoot me for what 390 alpha, and I really need to be patient. And he's looking for me now. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let my two teammates handle him. Yeah. And now I see that he shot, which means I have a great opportunity to, to put two in because I have the better reload. There was one, the second one. He's not looking at me, so this is gonna be easy farm. And there's two tier tens less for the enemy team we have one and the enemy team has zero so yeah always try mm. to hunt down the bottom tiers i mean the top tiers and yeah i don't know what this LTTB was doing that was a big big mistake going in just yolo 
if he went back, he could have spotted for the rest of his team. Do you and get XVM Yolo or Jan? Mm, yeah, it depends. <coughs> it depends on the day. It depends on the map. Uh, that's why I usually play a bit more passive in the beginning and a lot more aggressive towards the end. And I try to, if it's possible, to conserve as much HP as possible. Now again, I'm shooting heat at this guy because IS-3 side armor is... is ridiculous. Just, it's ridiculous, yeah, exactly. And this guy, a paper tank, and I have a great... This tank, the <coughs> M41, has amazing HE ammo. I'm gonna put one more AP into him, or two. No, this was the second one. I should have loaded the, HE uh, right yeah. now. The HEP? The HEP, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, exactly. That would have worked it, fine. Yeah, it has nice pen and it has, uh, what, over 300 alpha? Yeah, it's really good. So I'm figuring this guy, he can't do anything versus me. He's in a really bad situation right now. And I can farm a tier 9 tank destroyer without getting shot or anything. <clears throat> As you can see, he's in the open. He can't really do anything. But at the same time, I'm worried about the AMX 4090 as I'm pinging on the map. He's still on A0. He climbed up there. Yes, it's and a bad position. Yeah, if I'm spotted, he can put three shells into me very easily or two high rolls and I'm dead. But there's the Scorpion. There's a Borsig, so I'm still using HEP. They could still one-shot one you. Yeah, they could, this guy can one-shot me easily. Yes. The first shot probably went into the tracks. That's that why I did 90 damage. The second one actually pen him. Third one pen him, so what? That was a little bit over 600 damage in two shots. Yeah, it's good. and HEP is extremely cheap <clears throat> to run. Yeah, and here's the Borsig. Now I'm not shooting because I want to get behind this bush. Yeah, I don't want to be spotted. Now, yeah, I don't want to be spotted. Now this is the first one in, and I can probably farm this guy down. He doesn't have a lot of HP. He's very slow, and even if he gets unspotted, I can still track his movements and try to, you know, blind fire. Yet he spotted you. Yeah, it was probably it was probably the Borsik or something. I don't know. It's strange how I didn't get spotted the first time. Yeah. But then I get spotted. I don't know. Or maybe the climb boy. Yeah. No, I went into the middle because I know I have perfect <coughs> cover here. If I went, if I go mid. Yes. Over in this dip, and I need to finish these one shots. The the Borsik is one one shot. The. Um, the Scorpion is a one-shot, and I really need to take out tanks now, because I don't want them to shoot me. These guys can one-shot me pretty easily. So that's the first one, and there's two more Borsigs. One is a one-shot, and the other one is... I don't know, I can't really remember. This is one of the climbs that are going to close, right? Uh, I have no idea about the climbs. Very I annoying no with idea. the standing up there the whole game, to be honest. Yeah, well, it, it really depends on the... I think it's on climbs the player, are good for uh, Clan Wars or something. Yes. But for randoms, they're kind of annoying. As this 3090 is still up there. It's been, what, eight minutes of gameplay, and he's <laughs> yes. still up there. And we're going to see how much he farmed. Probably a good bit. Yeah, probably a good bit. Now, this type 4, I can't really do anything. Now I got spotted because of this 3090 probably above me. And he can clip me so easily. I can't really do anything about him right now because... Well, he's not spotted, and he's probably full HP. He's been there a yep. whole round, so we need to figure out how to finish the... There he is, now he's spotted, but I can't really shoot him, he's safe. We need to deal with the Type 4, and I really can't pen that guy. The Type 4 is unpenable at such a distance, so I need to get up close and personal. And the best way to deal with these guys, the Japanese tanks, is with little, with small tanks like this one. You just get on their sides, turn on auto aim, and that's it. Hit or no hit, you're gonna pan on his side. And because they're so big, they can't really point their turrets down and shoot you, so you can be extremely annoying with a light tank, especially a tank like this or a T49. But he's using the big gun, I guess, so that goes out of the out of the way. You can't really go up close and personal with a big HE gun. You're gonna splash yourself and kill yourself in the end. So here I'm thinking, well, I have my buddy, T49. We need to flank this Type 4 somehow. The AMX, I was hoping he wasn't, that he's not going to come near me or something, but here he is. is. Now, the biggest mistake for me right now is shooting heat at him. If I shot AP at him, I would have saved, I don't know, what, 20k more or 15k? 
since I'm grinding, I'm not really inclined to shoot as much heat. The second one in. One more in. Now this, he's trading really bad. He, he could have easily yolo me in. He could have just yolo you and yeah, tapped yeah. you out. It was, if I was not, on the, not the best move. Yeah, if I was on the AMX side, if I was that guy, I would have just yolo in. You need, what, five seconds to do free, sh free shells? I mean, free shots? Yeah. And my reload is 5.2 something. 5.5, .5, I don't know. I can't remember right now. So, I'm dead. If he yolos me, I'm dead. He can just use auto aim. I'm a light tank. I don't have armor. He just auto aim, yolo in, and just kill me. In so, worst case, he would have received two shots. So. Yeah, but that would have that would have never finished him. No. Now I knew this wasn't gonna pan. I knew it. It's just he's slightly angled, just slightly angled, and my heat shell isn't isn't powerful enough. I so always think I it's trollish to shoot at even with heat. Yeah, even with heat, it's trollish, <clears throat> especially yeah. in Japanese tanks. Yes. So that's why. I, yeah. yeah. This guy actually asked me, "You can hit him, right?" No, I can't. <laughs> Not enough pen. So that's why I wanted... Uh, because I'm a light tank, he's very slow and very big. I can spot him easily, like I did just now. So I know where this guy is. So I can worry about the AMX 3090. He can't do anything. Now, somebody started at the cap, which means the 3090 is here. But I didn't want to rush in just now, because... I can always risk a chance of getting shot by the Type 4. So I need to approach this 3090 uh, a bit more carefully. You know, I'm trying to conserve as much HP as possible to maybe survive a shot from the Type 4 if he low rolls or something, you know? <coughs> yes. That's why I went all around. Went unspotted and here he is. I did one shot, it immediately ran away. I don't want to fight with this guy. Not yet. Not until he's a one shot. I don't want to go one on one versus him. So, so you, that's focus, you focus on the 13.9 instead of the Type 4 Heavy? Yeah, yeah, but still, I have to spot the Type 4 so I know where he's going, what he's yes. doing. And here he is. Now I know he's here, I can go around him. He can't climb, he can't do anything right now. He's too slow, too big. So I can dance around him and all I need to do is worry about not getting shot and try, and try to find that 3090. So that's why I'm always keeping distance right now. Because, well, the Type 4 is inaccurate as hell. And uh, I want to surprise them, you know, as much as possible. You're in a light tank, you have the speed, just go around. You, they can't really cap on encounter because this is encounter. Yes. So you have time, you, you have to be patient. Do you always run with encounter on? I love encounter, actually. It's good for farming credits. I also love assault. That's also good for, uh, for farming credits. Now, I should have shot maybe a little bit lower because he was angled perfectly towards me. I mean, 90 degree angle. Yes. And the second shot, I should have never shot that one. It was just a waste of credits. Well, now, that sometimes you have to take a chance, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it works, but a lot of times it doesn't because, you know, RNG. 20, 25% RNG makes a lot of things possible. Don't you? Yeah, a lot of things possible and a lot of things not possible. <laughs> yes. Now I know this guy is uh, capping the 3090. I know this guy, the Type 4 is behind him in the little ditch. So I'm just gonna... As soon as I got spotted, I knew he was up there because he's in a yeah. bush hiding. Yes. So I need to do one shot at him, into him. I used auto aim and it worked perfectly. RNG was in my favor right now. <clears throat> so now this guy is a one shot. He's a one shot. I need to circle them somehow that the Type 4 is not looking at me. Because I'm just gonna go in now. I'm gonna go full in, auto aim the 3090, shoot, and I'm gonna finish him. And then I can dance around the Type 4. Yeah. That's why I'm going again. I'm going all around. I, all, I have my mind on the counter. And this guy, this is the biggest mistake he did. He shot, <clears throat> I had 20 seconds. Yes. I'm always counting the seconds of big tanks in my head. I'm counting them down. And I know I can yellow in this guy. And he's still he trying to run. He can't run. <laughs> no. That's it. Out to him. And now you just get on the side, use out to him again, and you have to focus on your driving. Yeah, don't just, get hit. Yeah, and just just let the just let the out to him do the job. Patience, speed, and yeah. And don't get greedy. And never get greedy. Yeah. Exactly. 
So let's hear what you got here. Orlix medal for destroying two or more enemy tanks that were uh, one tier higher. Confederate defender. Well, obviously because I decapped a lot. High caliber and a sni tanker sniper. In the end, I got uh, 6.3k damage, which is, well, I was bottom tier. You have to remember that. Uh, three tier 10 tanks. So 6.3 is awesome. Four kills and almost 1800 base experience. I think 1800 base experience is that magical barrier. If you go above that, it's really awesome. Uh, it gets you uh, a lot on higher to you, so yeah, it's yeah. good to reward you somehow. Yeah. And let's check that 3090 that climb on A0. As you can see, this, this Snuffle guy, he did 5.3k damage. 5.3k yeah. damage. He did he did 4.9k, almost 5k from a distance of more than 300 meters. So yeah, he climbed up there and he just... Well, and he didn't great. really strike me as a very good player when he... Yeah. Well, he c came down, to be honest. Mm, yeah, he made some unfortunate choices. He should have yes. yelled. Next time, I mean, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one like this, and if you're in an autoloader, especially like a light tank, just go in. Take the just, shot. Yeah, take the first shot and just spray. Unload that. And the credits? He made a lot of credits. Yeah, I had the... Uh, uh, what's it from Strongholds? It's the credit um, boost. Yeah. Uh, that was activated, and when you play, you, sometimes you get from more gaming. You get for those rewards, you get uh, the credit boosters when you can activate them for random medals. Yes. So I had that as well. So I got 170k of credits, and I remember it's two hours for each of these bonuses. They're two hours, and they can stack. So I made around roughly three million in those two hours. Shot as little heat as possible, and that's it. If you're grinding credits, well. You should avoid heat if possible. And yeah, that's it. Nice. And the second replay you sent me is from the 1390. Yeah, that's my favorite. It was my favorite light tank before the changes of light tanks. Yes. And it's still my, my, my mostly played light tank at the moment. I don't know, it's fast. You have four shells in the clip. It's, it's awesome. It's slow key. Uh, it gets awesome matchmaking and it's just... The gun got so a lot better, I think. The gun got a lot better. The yes. aiming time and everything. They didn't now, really nerf is... it that much. No, no, they didn't. They didn't really nerf it. Now, this is on steps. I always go in this position behind these bushes. Yes. And uh, I shouldn't have shot. I... It would have been better if I waited a little bit in this bush. Maybe spot more <laughs> guys crossing, you know? Yes. Uh, so that's the price you pay for being greedy. You get shot like this. You have to use the big repair kit, which is 20,000 credits. And uh, not really a good start. I should have just sit there in the bush and be patient about it. And this map, I can't really fight on the left side because of the heavy tanks. There's free artilleries, by the way. So I'm going across the field. Nobody got spotted. I'm thinking to myself, well, this is a lot of open space. I can outmaneuver any tank that comes in my way. So there's two light tanks coming. I know there's a bulldog that he's already engaging his target and he's going to need help really fast. I'm hoping this guy's going to go over and yellow him. And I don't know how this one missed, but I need to hit the second and the third one. Yes. And now I have a 20 second reload and I'm behind car. They can't really do anything about it. The clip I, I really like uh, steps for, uh, for light tanks. Steps is awesome. Yes. Steps is awesome for light tanks. I love this map. I don't know why, but for light tanks, it's really awesome because you can use these sand dunes. You can use the terrain to your advantage. Like I did, you can drop down and go down and outflank them. You can go up and I don't know. It's awesome. And you're pretty much OP on that side since all of them are almost spot yeah, on the yeah. other side. So Now this guy, I know, he sh I know he shot me. He needs what, like seven seconds or something? Yeah. So I traded, uh, well, two shells. I shouldn't have, but hey, he's 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 a one shot that that batchet is. I can both I can clip them both in one clip, you know. <clears throat> so I like this situation right now. There's only an RU behind them, and I know if somebody takes behind me, I have three tanks. I always keep that in mind. And here here he is. I accidentally shot this guy, which was perfect <laughs> for me. The guy behind him is still reloading. And I started reloading my clip as soon as I did this because I need four shells for this RU. I'm gonna 
fill him up with all four of my shells and let one of my team members fi finish the job, you know. Do you tend to count on team members behind you or do you assume I you're alone? I don't count them on them, <coughs> I just, I know I have somebody behind them. If somebody rushes me, I know I can count on them, maybe, I don't know. Now I'm trying to track him so he can't really escape. Unfortunately, he repaired. And, and RT. Yeah, and RT. Doesn't matter. Uh, I had the luck of panning the last shot. That was lucky. That was RNG. Yes. And he's a one shot now. They're gonna and kill him. There's also, the RD, RD didn't hit you straight on. That was also good. Yeah, yeah, that was also good. So I'm still 360. Second RT shot, and That's I can take it one. easy a little bit right now. I really need to focus on this tiger, keep him spotted, so maybe somebody else can shoot him. I really like tiger ones, they're so soft to shoot at. Tiger ones are my favorite tanks to shoot at because yes. I always spend them. Yeah. And they're so so big, they're such a big target, as you can see, they really can't do anything. I actually like the gun on the tiger one. Yeah, the gun is good, but the tank <coughs> in, in a yeah. tank like this, he's in a tier 9 battle with three artilleries. It's um, all luck. <laughs> yeah. I'm a tier 9 light tank, so they can't really do anything. What's the clip potential now, do you remember? Uh, somewhere around 1000 if you're lucky, I think. It's two, yes. 250, 240, but so almost. Okay, it's 900, but still. I know I didn't like this this part where the T28 prototype didn't even bother to turn around. That, that little tier 8 tank just completely obliterated all of our artilleries. I really didn't like that. And he's still stationary. He's not really helping anyone there. No, and he's not yeah. doing a great deal. No, I know, and I need to finish this guy. I need to finish this light tech somehow. But at the same time, I see those guys are advancing. They just killed the T44. So I really can't do anything. I was lucky this guy went back this way, so I finished him off. Uh, yeah. And then the team is already crying, noob team, and <laughs> T28, please report. Of course. He shouldn't write that, but uh, hey. Well, his stats doesn't in indicate he's a bot. I know you don't have mods on, but uh, they're going to see my mods. Yeah. Play. I don't know what the T28, T28 guy is it's like. yellow. Okay, well. Oh, sorry. Green, actually. Oh, doesn't <coughs> matter. No, no. So this time I'm thinking, well, I'm kind of fucked. It's five enemy guys. The T28 is almost dead. So I'm thinking, well, I can still finish this KV-13 and dance around the E-75 because the E-75 is very slow. So that's what I decided to do. Finish off this medium tank and then run, 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 run. Finish the tank destroyer, run. Finish artillery, run. And then maybe save him for the for the last target. Yeah. Because look, he's he can't even turn. And I'm going to focus on this guy. He did a major mistake by going down. Yeah, he should have stayed was, up. He should have stayed up. If he stayed up, he would probably kill me. And you really can't stay still because the two already are probably yeah. gonna <coughs> give it a good shot. And as you can see, this E75 is slow. He's super slow. I know where the STRV is. I mean, he was on A4 the last time, so he's probably still in the base or went towards the cap. So that's why I'm going over there. And I'm trying to avoid getting spotted by the E75. So I have that uh, surprise uh, advantage. And you should be easily outspotting him. Yes, 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 because he's a big, big heavy tank, and yeah. Oh, now this guy, well, unfortunately for him, I high rolled a little bit and finished him off in one clip. I immediately started to reload because I need all the clips, I mean all the shells in my clip. Because right now in my mind is artillery. The E75 is not a target. And I just got Ooh. splashed quite good. Yeah. And I get sp if I get splashed one more time, I'm dead. I know people hate artillery, but I think it's useless after the update. After this patch, artillery is... Uh, I don't I, know. You I do actually no think it kind of works. The power yes. nerf actually kind of works. Yeah, I don't really like it. Now, the E-75, as you can see, he's on the other side of the map, and he can't really do anything. And this is the RNG that we were talking about. Yes. Thankfully for me, I one-shot at him, blown him up. I guess Karma is a bitch. And now I have to deal with this 212A, and then I can dance around this E75. I know where the E75 is. I spotted this guy. Now I'm going right, and then I'm going to go left. You have to do it. You have to run alongside them. So when they turn, 
they have really bad aim time. The reticle moves, it blooms, it's all over the screen and it's really hard for them to hit you. So as you a, have to As a former RT player, I can tell you one thing, sis. 90% 90, 90 they come straight at you and then mm -hmm. they ride you afterwards that I'm a fucking cheater. They okay, come straight nice. at you. No, you should straight never go straight. Into the bullet. No, of course not. I always... I try to force them to move left or right. As soon as they move the tank, yeah, yeah, the uh, aim their is aiming gone. is gone. It's... Now, because this is, again, this is another encounter. I love encounters, I don't know. Some people complain about the encounter, I love it. And I don't mind encounters. This guy, he's just too slow and, <laughs> and I'm too fast. You see, I can put one in. I have, as you can see, I'm using these bushes. Yes, you'll never spot so not, me. Yeah, yeah. So, so he can't really spot me. I mean, he knows where I shot him from, but still, he doesn't know where exactly I am. I'm not gonna go in, into the cap, because you need what three minutes or something to cap on encounter. Yes. And you should avoid going into the cap if it's a one-on-one, -on -one because well, they know you where you the are. Enemy thing. Yeah, <laughs> you tell them where you are. You basically give up your position is immediately, and they can flank you or something. You do also have all the advantages right now. Yes, I know where he is, he doesn't know where I am. I crossed the field because I wanted to surprise him even more. And uh, I have more than enough shells to finish him off, so that's not going to be a problem. And he doesn't know where I, where I am. He's looking at some strange direction. He can't do anything right now. He doesn't have a single clue where I am. Oh, he and just looked at you. He, he just, he He's doesn't just know. No, he doesn't know. And that's what I love about lightings. I actually put one in because he showed me the side of his turret. And again, I'm fast. Look, I'm already going 60. And he's there, he's there being all worried. Where am I going to come now? I'm just going to change positions. Let's be honest, he, he knows he's way. fucked. Yeah, you can tell that by the turret, the way he was aiming. He was like, oh shit. Oh shit, he's a light tank. And this is an open map. It would probably be easier if this was like a city map, but... Because this is an open map, I knew exactly how hard I can push this uh, terrain and the view range and everything, and... He can't do anything about it. I do so find I'm sometimes I get uh, outspotted by heavy tanks, but I assume they have a lot of uh, skills on uh, binals. Probably, like probably weird combination of uh, equipment and... Well... Wargaming also nerfed light tanks, their view range, for some reason, I guess. Yeah, I don't get the reason. I don't get the yeah. point in having lights when they're worse yeah, than it's mediums. Be it's better to play tier 10 mediums in Clan yes. Wars and Strongholds than to use light tanks, because, well, yeah. some medium tanks have good armor. And now he's showing me his side. I can finish him off. And that's it, he's dead. He gave dead. up. Yeah. Well played. And that was it. Again, patience. Not too greedy and... It frags or something. I don't know, we can check it now. So your medals? 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 Of, like of course. The best of them all? Colobano. I really love Colobano's medals. I don't know. It really... Because you have to put in a lot of effort to get a Colobano. Unless the easiest way to get a Colobano is assault when you're one on versus five and the timer runs out because the enemy is camping instead of rushing. Yeah. Uh, Radley Walters, 8 frags, Pascucci for killing 2 SPGs, high caliber and a top gun. Uh, the damage, because damage is damage. Damage is damage. 6.4, almost uh, kind of the same as the previous battle. But in the previous battle I was bottom tier, so that meant there was a lot, of, a lot more HP to, to go around. Yeah. And six, but still, 6.4k is still plenty in a light That's tank good. like this, with eight frags and uh, 1500 base experience, a lot lower than the previous battle, but still. That was the lack of high tiers. Yeah, yeah, that's because you're higher tier, and I met tier sevens on the enemy team and everything, and that was it. That was not a credit maker. That was a credit nope, user. No, that was not. No, that was, that was not. <clears throat> My Amex 4090 is. I don't play this tank to get credits. I play this tank just to blow some steam off because it's so amazing to play. And it was always an expensive tank. To it was on. always, even before, it was yes. always an expensive tank. So what's your best advice to beginners to tank better? Patience. Don't be greedy. <laughs> don't, yeah, patience. Don't, don't be greedy. 
never YOLO, never do that unless it's a one-on-one -on -one like I described it before. Uh, what else? Play tanks that you like. Don't force yourself, don't go on some other YouTube channels and um, like I did a video on the 5A, this greatest tank. Well, for some it is, for some it isn't. You have to find your own personal favorite tank and just stick with that one until you figure out how, how the game goes and everything. Yes. And never force yourself too much. If you lose three games in a row, just stop. Just, just stop. It happens to everyone. Everyone, you just have to stop. Don't tilt and keep no playing. Tilt, don't tilt. Just stop, take a break. 15 minutes go away from the computer and don't play too much you lose focus 10 15 games that's more than enough then you should take a break because if you play 30 games or more one after another you're just gonna get frustrated you're gonna lose focus and you're gonna play bad i can guarantee you that no the feeling <laughs> yeah everybody knows that yeah. when it's a lazy sun sunday it's raining outside nobody wants to go to get a beer and you fire up full of tanks and then you realize you played 40 games and you're angry and you want to smash the keyboard at the at the wall yes of course <laughs> so well that was it. it then thanks for coming and uh, i'll gonna put your youtube in the bottom and your facebook oh, where they so can kind. all go ask your question oh. of course and watch uh, my nudes naked pictures yeah, nude pictures mm -hmm. you need a password though no i'm kidding there's no password there's no password they're all available they're well all thanks available. for coming sis thank Enjoy. you okay bye 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 Russian one, but man pulled up in the German one. Two four fours in a four-door truck. There's one on the right, on the left. There's one.